Lifetime Nanta Tandem Kayak. Three seater, 500 pounds. Ordered it off of Amazon on Sunday. It was delivered on Thursday at 8 o'clock in the morning here in Key West, Florida. Paddles, backrest, large outer bag. Really good shape. Now we're going to open it up. Perfectly good condition. No scratches, scuffs, or marks on it. The accessories, it did only come with one backrest, so I was a little disappointed with that. I was under the impression it came with two. Uh, it does have two paddles, which I'll put together in a little bit. Came with some scupper plugs for the kayak. Don't think I'll probably use those much. And the warranty card. That was everything that came with it. There's your cargo strap down for the front. You can see they claim that to be a fishing rod holder there in the front, or maybe like a sail mast, put a sail mast in it. And then I guess that could also be a fishing rod holder. Drink holders. Got three drink holders, three seats. Again, it was 500 pounds maximum capacity. It's got the little eyelets all the way around. That's for the seat backrest. You also have an area back here you could use a bungee cord and strap something down, maybe a motor or something, or a battery for a motor if you wanted to try to mount a motor on it. And then here you got your drain plug, so when you flip it over, if any water gets in it, it'll drain out through that. And it does have the handles on the side for carrying over your head. And then inside, of those would be the scupper drain holes. Once you take those rubber pieces out, yeah, they're going to pop out. Get those out later. Little handle carry in the front. Pretty nice kayak overall. Looks pretty solid. I'm not disappointed with it. Just wish I'd got two backrests because I know that makes a difference when you're out in a kayak. And those run about $35 to $50 on Amazon. So there it is. Get the accessories out and try to get it out on the water this afternoon. I thought it only came with one backrest, but the other one was underneath it. It had been uh, zip tied to the kayak, but the zip ties broke and it was actually underneath it. Here's the second one. Some decent backrest for the pockets in the back. With drain holes in there. Yeah, but it's got drain holes in it too. That's good. Light time. Pretty solid. Feather it the way you want it. Plug it out. This would be the bottom of the kayak and how it came. You can see there was some uh, scratches on the bottom. I'm sure I'm going to do a lot worse to it than that over time, but uh, it did come with a couple of small scratches on it. 
You see that V channel, kind of a V channel design on the bottom. Uh, the website claims that gives it extra stability and uh, prevents it from kind of rolling and tipping over. Where the uh, plugs were at, I popped them out, so those are the scupper drain holes. Pretty good shape. Did have another scratch right here. I don't know if that's going to show up too well, but it's a scratch, but not a big deal. Really good shape, really happy with it. Here we are, it's all put together. Uh, it took about 20 minutes from the time I started unpacking it to fully set up and ready to go. Uh, you can see there are actually paddle rest holders on here. So when you get out there, uh, I've had that issue before on other kayaks. You get out there and you want to put your paddle somewhere and you got nowhere to put it and it just keeps slipping off the side. So that's kind of a nice feature, I like that. Uh, just the only thing left to do is tidy up these loose ends on the backrest. Probably strap those on with a zip tie or rubber band or something. But it's set up and ready to go. Thank <laughs> you.